We're Matteo and Misha. In this episode, we tell you why we moved back to Italy. We can go. The consulate said we can go. Plus, we finally reveal our big announcement. We are currently sitting in our mandatory 10 day quarantine because we've moved back to Italy, son. I was going to say that. No. I tried that. That was my line. So this episode is going to be divided into three parts. Why we moved to Italy, how we moved to Italy, and last but not least, our big announcement. So if you've seen our other videos, you know that we used to live and work in Italy a few years ago. And that's also where we met and fell in love. Very cliche. We were both tour guides in Italy. But we ended up leaving at the end of 2017 because quite honestly, we were broke and very confused about where we wanted our lives to go, just like many people in their early 20s. So we decided to move to America, thinking we were gonna settle down for at least a few years before moving again, but very quickly realized that's not what we wanted. So we packed up all of our stuff again, bought a flight to South Africa, and spent some time with Mateo's family before getting a job on the cruise ships in Australia and New Zealand. During our six week holiday in South Africa, between our ship contracts, coronavirus hit. So six weeks turned into six months, which turned into a year and a half. But 2020 wasn't a total write-off. It gave us time to just sit down and reflect and to figure out really what we wanted the next chapter of our lives to be. So to answer the question, why exactly did we move back to Italy? Well, first of all, we love Italy. But second, it's because even though we did live here a few years ago, but we didn't get to fully immerse ourselves in all the different areas of Italy and see every corner of it. We were younger, we slept on a floor, we were broke. Like, it was really hard back then. I mean, we didn't have the money to go out and explore the whole country and neither did we have the time because we were so busy working in our cities. We've returned because we want to explore the architecture, the art, the culture, the history the people, and of course the different foods. So ever since we moved away from Italy in 2017, we knew we were gonna make a plan to come back one day. And now we did. So how did we move to Italy? We didn't just book a ticket, jump on a plane and head on our way. The rules for entering Italy right now are pretty strict. And well, there's only certain exceptions as to why you're allowed in the country. I'm both a South African and an Italian citizen. Being a citizen is one of the rules that allow you in. And in the case of Michelle, being married to an Italian citizen allows you entry as well. But to be extra sure, I would not get turned away at the border. I actually emailed the Italian consulate in South Africa to ask specifically if I just needed my Italian marriage certificate stating that I am Matteo's spouse or if we needed something else. And they actually gave me a official travel declaration saying that I'm legally allowed to enter Italy because I'm relocating with my husband. They put an official stamp on it. We can go. The consulate said we can go. I'm legal to enter. But stay tuned for our next episode where they almost didn't let me on the plane. So after we got all of that paperwork in order and made sure we were legally allowed to enter, we booked our flights with Qatar Airways because they are one of the only international airlines that's flying in and out of South Africa. And it was kind of crazy because our flight was the only international flight leaving that day. Another requirement for entering Italy is that you have to get a COVID PCR test within 48 hours of landing in Italy. Which if you've ever flown internationally, you know that sometimes it can take you a day, day and a half, two days to get to your destination, which put us a little bit on edge because we had to take it within this time frame, and we honestly did not know if we would get the results back before leaving to the airport. So we just arrived to take our COVID tests, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous to have them shove that thing up my nose. This is my third time getting a COVID test, and well, as a lifetime sufferer of the sinus, I have had bigger things shoved up my nostrils. So we just got our tests done. Actually, it wasn't too bad. I thought I'd be coming out with like, tears of mascara running down my face. So I think we're doing pretty good, actually. Um. So the results are supposed to take about 24 hours. However, we're supposed to leave for the airport in about 20, 22 hours. So we're praying that they just come in before then. Or we could get them back and they could be positive. In which case, we're also not going anywhere. Well, based on the fact that we're in Italy, you probably could have guessed that they came through before we left. So we were in the clear. So we landed in Italy on May 20th 
We flew to Milan to see Matteo's brother and his wife, who we haven't seen in two years due to the pandemic. And also, we legally needed to undergo a mandatory 10-day quarantine. It's been three and a half years since we've been in Italy, and it just feels incredible to be back here. So the reason we are telling you all of this is because it leads on to our big announcement. So the main reason we moved back to Italy is to fulfill one of our lifelong dreams, which is to pull off the ultimate Italian road trip traveling to all 20 regions of Italy by the end of 2022. We are super pumped to finish our quarantine and just begin our epic Italian adventure. So be sure to subscribe if you want to follow our adventure through all 20 regions of Italy. And in our next episode, we show you what it was like traveling internationally from South Africa to Italy.